So what is boundary layer? Uh, we call this as BL in short. Now see. To understand boundary layer, we should understand viscosity first. What is viscosity? So to understand viscosity, first of all, we should understand what is friction. What is friction? Suppose you have one surface here and you have any solid object. This solid object is going in this direction. So you know that uh, if you look the bottom layer, so on the bottom layer, there, there will be molecules, right? Molecules are like this. And if you see the red color downward surface, so even uh, that will be having molecules, 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 molecules. So earlier people were, were, were thinking uh, friction is because of the uh, hilly surface. Like one type of hilly surface is sliding over other type of hilly surface. That's why we have friction. They were thinking like this. But actually, th this is not the reality of friction. Friction is suppose... Uh, suppose the this part is stationary part and this is any object moving in this direction so after certain distance the friction will come into rest it's like just this is a table on the table you keep any plate and you push the plate then plate will go till certain distance some uh, inches and then after that it will stop so why uh, this plate is being stopped this plate is being stopped because of the friction so earlier people said what is the cause of friction it is the hilly surface because of that any object will not go ahead uh, like this kind of shapes will get stuck into this kind of shapes slowly slowly they will at a very small level but that is not the reality then later they realized friction is because of the molecular attraction what is molecular attraction actually molecular attraction means when one molecule is here and another molecule is here and they are if they are sufficiently close then one attraction force will set up between them so this attraction force we call as molecular attraction force we have formula to calculate this uh, how much newton force is there mathematically but we are not going to that so in same way point is they should have enough closeness to attract each other so actually what happens whenever there is any object that object is going in this direction then be, every object will be having its own weight. So because of their weight, their molecules will come into the contact, like these red color molecules will come into the contact with these green color molecules. So they will be attracting each other. Why will they attract each other? Because of the weight, they are coming sufficiently close. So they will, uh, they are attracting each other. So that's why imagine uh, if this is the table, you will keep any book on the table. This book will not go anywhere. Why? Because of because these molecules are being interlocked with, with each other. Suppose uh, you are sitting on any chair or you are sitting anywhere right now. So why you are able to sit? Because uh, your uh, body molecules are in contact with your surface molecules. They are kind of interlock. And uh, who is the cause? Cause is attraction force. Which attraction force acting between the boundaries? Okay. So. Actually, when this blue surface will try to go in this direction, then it's like this molecule is going in this direction, but this molecule is stationary here. So when this molecule will go in this direction, then this molecule will try to pull that molecule back, like come back, come back, come back, come back. So this attraction force will not allow this molecule to move in this direction. But of course, in the beginning, when you are pushing, your force will dominate. And because of that dominating nature, this will shift here like this. But at the same time, once you will remove your hand, because if you are keep on pressing the book, you will never stop. I mean, book will never stop. Uh, you can experience the friction once you will remove your hand. So just hit and remove your hand. Then book will go uh, at certain distance and then it will stop. So it will stop because of friction. What is causing friction? Main thing is attraction force of the molecules. Now see, whenever you talk about attraction force of the molecules, then uh, if both the molecules are same, then that force we say as cohesive force. If both the molecules are different, like for example, this uh, table is made up of, uh, suppose wood and uh, the book which is sliding here, suppose this is not a book, it is any glass, glass material.
so glass will be having its own molecule wood will be having its own molecule so here nature of molecules are different one is glass molecule one is so if 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 one molecule is glass molecule and uh, another molecule is wood molecule then attraction force between them is known as adhesive force so it is known as adhesive force actually this cohesive force and adhesive force are very common in nature because uh, whatever uh, suppose just an example if uh, if you are uh, rubbing your one hand to your another hand so your own molecules of the skin are in coming into con into the contact with your uh, own skin molecules so like molecular nature is same so they are uh, there you have cohesive force but adhesive force you understand uh, molecules will be different like uh, um, you can see water will get stuck on the glass so for example if you have glass here uh, and here you are keeping some water and drink the water then you can see there will be some water molecules attached with the glass so here h2 molecules that is water molecule is in contact with the glass molecule so this kind of force is known as adhesive force and only because of this adhesion adhesive force we have gum fevicol those things we we call sometimes adhesives because uh, they uh, actually how uh, this this will work one paper will be there and then you apply some gum so then you stick another paper so here actually two papers are not sticking with themselves in between we have adhesive adhesive means this molecule is interlocking with this paper and same time that molecule will interlocking with this paper these two papers are not interlocking each other okay so here i explained two different types of molecules will attract each other and if they are attracting each other then of course if one molecule will try to go in that direction another molecule will pull that molecule so because of that this guy will stop after traveling certain distance because it's not like only one molecule is present it is like on the surface you have so many molecules and suppose these two molecules are going in this direction so uh, when they are here this guy will this guy will attract so when they they will come here this guy these two guys will attract it's like everywhere they are experiencing attraction force so that's why everywhere uh, this uh, this body is uh, going to be slow 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 and after a certain distance this body will be completely slow so zero it will come into the rest now same phenomena <coughs> will happen in liquid but when this phenomena happens in solids right just now i have explained taking example of solid then you call this phenomena friction but if the same phenomena will happen in liquid then you call as viscosity so friction and viscosity they are exactly same friction we especially deal in solid same phenomena we call this as friction what is viscosity viscosity is the nature what kind of nature exactly similar friction nature it means i will explain if you have to understand viscosity then you have to understand the fundamental nature of fluid what is fundamental nature of fluid actually whenever fluid flows to give the explanation of viscosity we consider fluid is flowing in lamina lamina 1 lamina 2 lamina 3 and there will be a lamina uh, which will be in in the contact with the ground suppose lamina 4 lamina is another name for the layer so layer we don't use uh, because our science has grown up from di different countries so in uh, i think greek or somewhere they were using lamina 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 so lamina is layer so actually you see this bottom layer exactly the last layer is in contact this layer this layer this layer this layer this layer is in contact with our ground layer so when the entire suppose this is a, this is a any river so when this river will flow in this direction then what will happen to the bottom surface actually with the bottom surface these molecules will be attracted by these molecules these molecules will be attracted by these molecules these molecules with this molecule and actually what happens uh, any surface is not completely smooth so every surface will be kind of hilly surface will be hilly surface so what will happen these red color molecules the first layer molecules will go and sit in the holes they will occupy the holes so it's like remove this bottom so you will be having this layer this layer i mean this layer 
imagine that layer is now here so that layer will also be having molecules so you can see on the surface water molecules are sitting calmly that is the first molecule condition so that you call as no flow or you can say zero flow so no flow zero flow means molecules are calmly sitting so exactly at the bottom in the gaps these molecules are not moving so these molecules are actually stationary so exactly at the surface your velocity is zero but when you talk about next layers then our attraction force will start working suppose this layer wants to go in this direction so it will go but it has to face this attraction force attraction force between uh, the molecules so this when this molecule will try to go in this direction this molecule will bring back come 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 because of that uh, this molecule will feel difficulty to flow in this direction in same way when these molecules will go in this direction then this guy will pull them back but because this guy is also going in this direction so they will not uh, give that much restriction to these people what they themselves are experiencing by these bottom people it means if you will go in this direction from bottom layer to the top layer your resistance uh, to every lamina is not constant every lamina will experience different different that's why the the top lamina will be the fastest lamina and the bottom lamina which is exactly in touch with the ground that will not even flow so in between your velocity will change now here i am just trying to say what is the meaning of viscosity viscosity means whenever layers are flowing so every layer is nothing but molecule so every molecule will try to attract each other if molecule will try to attract each other then of course they will offer resistance to each other's motion so this viscosity is nothing but resistance what kind of resistance resistance offered by one layer to another layer so now you cannot say that which layer is uh, giving more resistance to which layer main fundamental is viscosity is nothing but resistance offered by one layer to another layer so whenever you have viscosity present in the liquid liquid will not flow easily liquid will not flow easily liquid will slow down after some time suppose you are pouring water on the surface suppose you are pouring water on the table why water is not uh, flowing for infinite time why water is not flowing completely on the table then falling down on the surface then uh, falling down then again going somewhere no it is not the case because these molecules are attracting each other and they will stop each other so resistance towards the motion is only viscosity and now here i have taken example of uh, liquids and just before i explain the friction and one th one thing i i should tell you when we talk about matter matter is basically we classify matter in two parts one is solid and one is fluid then further this fluid we classify in three parts sorry two parts one you can say your liquid and one you can say your gas so actually viscosity we find in fluid i mean viscosity is present in liquid viscosity is present in gas but variation of viscosity is not same as in liquid and as in gas actually if you focus on the word viscosity then again what is viscosity viscosity is the resistance toward the flow so it means what when liquid will flow liquid will experience uh, resistance that resistance we call as viscosity in same way when the gases will flow example of gas air our air is example so because we are doing aerodynamics so air will be our standard gas so you should know everything about air molecular weight molecular mass of the air 29 r value 287 it is a combination of nitrogen plus oxygen nitrogen is around 80 roughly 80% oxygen is roughly 20% so okay now see when you talk about air flow air flow then 
viscosity will come into picture viscosity will come into picture now if air is flowing then after some distance air will stop so why it will stop because of viscosity i hope you you are clear with viscosity what is viscosity is it clear okay now see we have two types of viscosity one viscosity we say as dynamic viscosity one vis viscosity we say as kinematic viscosity dynamic viscosity and kinematic viscosity dynamic viscosity we use we we give symbol as mu kinematic viscosity we give symbol as nu n e w and here we say mu so if you are talking about dynamic viscosity and kinematic viscosity it will be out of your syllabus so what will i do uh, actually just i want to say something here imagine you have uh, honey and here you have mayonnaise so you take one spoon and you stir this bottle bottle of honey you take another spoon and you try to stir uh, this mayonnaise so you can feel that when you are stirring the honey this honey will offer resistance it's more resistance as compared to uh, this mayonnaise resistance in mayonnaise you can easily uh, stir your spoon but in honey it will be difficult to stir the spoon are you able to feel this what i'm saying okay so in honey you yeah so in honey you are getting more resistance okay so it means what viscosity in the honey is more than the viscosity in mayonnaise okay now in same example we are going to remove the spoon then what will i do after removing the spoon i will pour the honey like this and i will pour the mayonnaise like this so now you can see earlier honey was offering more resistance but when you will pour the honey that time your honey will be poured easily but mayonnaise you cannot pour definitely it will come down but as compared to honey this time mayonnaise will offer resistance so you can see in earlier example of the stirring mayonnaise was not offering that much resistance but honey was offering resistance so liquid is same both the liquids still same only phenomena changed phenomena change means here you can see uh, this mayonnaise will not come uh, into the flow easily so this time mayonnaise is offering more resistance what my point is you got two different types of viscosity one viscosity is because of external force what you are experiencing and one viscosity this one so you got one viscosity as dynamic viscosity and one viscosity as kinematic viscosity we, we don't have to go into detail we only should feel that okay there is something called viscosity now see yeah okay whenever you have viscosity because of the ha huh, whenever you have viscosity because of the weight because of the newton newton means force this kind of viscosity we call as dynamic dynamic viscosity dynamic viscosity weight and uh, uh, newton so uh, whenever you are pouring the uh, flow i mean whenever you are pouring in a liquid liquid uh, will come down because of its weight so internally they will start uh, attracting each other so that you can call as dynamic viscosity now see now uh, after understanding viscosity uh, like whatever is the fundamental i thought now we are ready to jump to the uh, our main topic as boundary layer and what is boundary layer it is actually very interesting topic so see uh, whenever uh, imagine this is this is any any kind of plate and any flow is going over the plate any flow is going over the plate like this so this is what diagram we draw in reality sorry uh, to to explain theoretically but this diagram is not real diagram the real diagram is this red color line will uh, will actually go like this uh, it is we are expecting it should go like this but it will go like this so why this extra bubble is coming so they i mean those scientist people they started study this and then they are understood okay there is something called boundary layer this boundary layer is coming into the picture whenever there is a flow so what is the meaning of boundary layer actually so so for that purpose imagine 
just imagine this portion we are going to analyze so it is almost flat so i am going to draw a flat plate actually what happens see whenever flow happens so when the flow will hit the leading edge of any object air foil plate or pipe whenever flow will hit the leading edge uh, what is leading edge the first portion what is touched by the flow that you will say as leading edge so see from here suddenly the bottom layer of the liquid will come into the rest why the bottom layer of the liquid will come into the rest it is because of that now just now i explained because any surface is not completely smooth surface so actually right now i am drawing surface like this but if you see at molecular level then this surface will be like this hilly surface means whenever flow will happen to this surface first molecules will come and sit will in this so this this you will say this is rest condition or zero condition now see the next layer next molecules are trying to go in this direction but because of the attraction force of these green molecules these molecules uh, will be attracted in this direction so if you consider layer 1 velocity is zero but if you talk about layer 2 velocity layer 2 velocity you can consider okay uh, uh, somewhat extra than this so again you will be having next layer velocity so even this next layer will be experienced uh, will experience force because of these these molecules but this force will not be as high as this force because this force is applied by stationary molecules these molecules are stationary molecules but the next layer in the next layer forces are applied because of moving molecules so second layer molecules are moving first layer molecules are in rest third layer molecules we are discussing so third layer molecules will experience resistance of course because of that their velocity will be somewhat less but as compared to this somewhat more so with this same concept when you grow in the layer by layer layer by layer then there will be a last layer that last layer velocity will be approximately equal to the free stream velocity now what is free stream velocity i will come back to this page but i have to explain free stream velocity now see imagine there is any obstacle and there is a flow which has to pass through the obstacle then when the flow will go near to the obstacle then slowly slowly shape of the flow will start changing according to the obstacle like this so you can see just before this line any rough line i am taking you can consider that this much velocity is free from disturbance but you can see in this zone your your flow is disturbed why flow is disturbed because of this wedge so this velocity is disturbed velocity so we have to study whatever is happening inside this zone but this velocity is free velocity free means free from the effect of the wedge that's why you will say free stream velocity so actually when you talk about free stream velocity then uh, we say symbol as v infinity or in some textbook they say u infinity like infinity word we uh, we use to represent the free stream concept so in some textbook they may use v not or u not in some textbooks mostly they prefer v infinity u infinity mostly so c free stream will be having its own velocity just consider 10 meter per second and then you see uh, if you if you take care of the wedge so i am removing everything to explain boundary layer actually what will happen this is the wedge here so the same flow the same flow uh, will not suppose if this velocity is 10 meter per second then the same flow everywhere will not be at 10 meter per second on the uh, on the surface why because we get a uh, boundary layer what is boundary layer the first molecule will be in rest the next molecule will be little bit faster then little bit faster then little bit faster and faster then slowly slowly you will achieve exactly 10 meter per second but 
you will not achieve 10 exactly at the bottom. At the bottom, 0. So we say that this envelope, what you are getting here, it will grow like this. And it will grow like this means it has a sense. What sense it has? Here you have 0 velocity. Suppose you are here. So here you have 0 velocity. Velocity is increasing, increasing, increasing. And here you are on the layer. On the layer. You are almost, you can say 0 0.99 times of the free stream. You are very, very equal to the free stream. But you are not exactly equal to the free stream. But the moment when you will cross this line, you will be getting free stream. Shape of free stream may, may change. But velocity of free stream will not change. You, then you will be getting exactly same velocity. Okay. So what is boundary layer? You should understand this, this way. Whenever there is a plate, you are keeping in flow. Or whenever there is still air, or in that still air, the plate is moving. Either flow is moving or the plate is moving. In both the cases, molecules has to pass over the solid surface. So in that solid surface, these molecules you will be getting boundary layer. What is the meaning of boundary layer? Inside the boundary layer, properties will vary from this surface to this surface. Okay. Is it true that this surface really exists in the flow? Yes. This surface really exists in the flow. So, above that, you will be having velocity exactly 10 meter per second. I mean, exactly equal to the free stream velocity. If you consider free stream as u infinity, then here you will be having u infinity. But inside this gap inside this envelope your velocity will change so how the velocity will change velocity will change like this like this now try to understand the red line you put the arrows like this length of the arrow every length of the arrow will represent how much velocity we have here so here you don't have arrow exactly at the bottom no arrow so velocity is zero but slowly slowly suppose at this point you want to know the velocity then you should see the arrow length so suppose u1 suppose here u2 suppose here some u5 or something exactly when you will come here your u will be equal to 0 0.99999 and you can say times of free like very close to free stream the last limit and just after this you'll be having free stream so whatever this red color image I have given you, that is known as velocity profile. Velocity profile. Now, what is velocity profile? As you know, your this 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 thickness, this thickness, what we are seeing here, this thickness, this gap, we are saying as boundary layer. Then, because of what your boundary layer is coming into picture, because of viscosity. At the same time. This flow example I have taken over the plate. But the same flow example someone can explain in the pipe. If this is the pipe and same flow is going in the pipe, then you will be having different types of boundary layer. So in that case, here also you will be having increment in velocity and here also you will be having, because both sides you have wall. So you may get this kind of velocity profile. So this velocity profile will not match with the velocity profile over the plate. So if you talk about our uh, subject, in our subject, we have airfoil. So when flow will happen over the airfoil, then at every everywhere you'll be having this kind of velocity profile. Everywhere you'll be having this kind of velocity profile. So these velocity profile may match, may not match. Now, what is the meaning of velocity profile? Velocity profile will give you idea that how the velocity is being changed in the boundary layer. In the boundary layer. So, if now if you want to analyze this portion, then I am drawing only that much portion here. Over that, you will be having a, a boundary layer. So, in that boundary layer, you will be having velocity variation. So, here no velocity. Then here little bit velocity, here little bit velocity, here more, more like that, like that. So you just come, put a cap like this. So this zone you will see as boundary layer. Uh, sorry, velo uh, velocity profile, velocity profile. Yeah. And this black line, this black line, what I have done here, this is known as boundary layer. Boundary layer. 
and actually it is coming like this from here boundary layer will start so whenever you have boundary layer uh, inside the boundary layer properties will not be constant when you will go in this direction velocity will change like that uh, you have situations so now you should know that we have two types of boundary layer boundary layer itself is of two types one boundary layer we draw for for laminar flow and one boundary layer we draw for turbulent flow so in laminar flow your boundary layer will be of different shape in turbulent flow it will be of different shape actually there are few terms are related to the boundary layer for example uh, displacement thickness boundary layer thickness displacement thickness momentum thickness energy thickness so those terms i will mention here see whenever we talk about boundary layer first of all we should know that what kind of flow we are going to deal so either you will be dealing laminar flow or you are dealing turbulent flow sometimes yeah sometimes suppose if the flow is happening over the plate then for certain distance you will be having laminar flow and after that for the remaining distance you will be having turbulent flow and in between you will be having transition so this transition we don't study only thing is there are two types of boundary layers so in every boundary layer your situation will be almost same but property variation will not be same so there are some uh, common terms of boundary layer itself like for example boundary layer thickness boundary layer thickness almost in every indian and foreign books they show with delta after boundary layer thickness you have displacement thickness displacement thickness you can represent as delta star then you have momentum thickness now sometimes some people uh, momentum thickness they show by theta and some people show by delta star so then you have energy thickness now if you are dealing with this uh, symbol then delta star is here then delta double star will be here but if you are using this thickness so sorry it should be delta double star and if you are following this then you, you should put delta triple star so any any symbol we can use main thing is there is something called boundary layer thickness and displacement thickness momentum thickness energy thickness actually boundary layer thickness is the physical term i can exp i can show you in the layer itself like suppose you are at this location so at this location what is the width i mean what is the thickness of this boundary layer so that you call, you will call as del but displacement momentum and energy thickness these are mathematical terms so let's understand them one by one we will talk about displacement thickness actually displacement thickness if if this thickness is clear these two will be clear automatically so what is boundary layer thickness it's clear it is just physically you can see okay this much uh, uh, from the surface at this much distance you have boundary okay okay see now now we are going to understand uh, your uh, displacement thickness actually what is displacement thickness see uh, imagine already we are considering the concept of boundary layer if we are considering the concept of boundary layer then your real flow will actually pass like this it will pass over the boundary layer means earlier this mass was about to enter here but because of the boundary layer this mass will not enter here okay next question some people thinks this as a solid surface no it is not a solid surface inside that you have completely organized flow but of course you need no this flow is slower than this flow it means whatever mass is being enter into the boundary layer by crossing this line i mean by crossing boundary layer line some mass is entering that mass is being slow down so at the exit the same mass will come out so what my point is because it is happening slowly and some masses are deflected in this direction then how much mass is being deflected in this direction 
दैट मास वी विल गिव इन मैथमेटिकल टर्म्स एज डिस्प्लेसमेंट थिकनेस लाइक हाउ मच मास इज बींग डिस्प्लेस सो हाउ डू वी फाइंड आउट डिस्प्लेसमेंट थिकनेस दैट इज मैथमेटिकल पोर्शन एंड इन सेम वे ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट फर्स्ट विल कम टू थ्यूरी वॉट इज डिस्प्लेसमेंट थिकनेस वी वर एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट मास विल गो लाइक दिस बट द मास इज नॉट गोइंग लाइक दैट some mass not the complete mass but some mass is being displaced in like this like this but some mass is entering so how much mass is not able to enter how much mass is being displaced because of the thickness of the boundary layer so that we'll call as displacement thickness it means it will give you the idea about the mass being displaced but mathematically actually actually at just a minute at suppose the surface this is the boundary layer so at every different location of the chord line suppose from here to here you have chord line 0 to c then suppose at any distance x you will be having your boundary layer thickness as delta or maybe at any other distance capital x again you will be having a different boundary boundary layer thickness delta so how much mass is being displaced from here how much mass is being displaced from here so the total mass is being displaced right so displacement thickness uh, is because of this boundary layer shape so displacement thickness will be having its own formula to be calculated so to understand that how do we calculate displacement thickness first we put the delta star is the symbol for displacement thickness we should know what is our velocity profile what is velocity profile may be for some plates and for some kind of flow it is parabolic this curve shape is parabolic may be for some flows it is cubic like we we can have some critical situations so we are not sure so main thing is for different different flows you will be having different different properties so actually what is the situation in aerodynamics they convert this phenomena in mathematical terms and then they deal just one one minute i will take on this suppose they will give you like this your velocity profile is small u by capital u is like y by del it means uh, your u is the velocity which is being changed and your this v u is the capital velocity capital means free stream velocity so this they will give in terms of y and in terms of del so what is the meaning of this the meaning is if you have a plate and your flow is going like this then at this location you go in this direction so you got total del but what will be property exactly at this height y so that property we explain with the help of this ratio so this is known as velocity uh, yeah velocity profile so here i am putting one so it is linear velocity profile so for this property changes will be different maybe velocity profile can be given like this y square by delta plus y by del plus 2 something like this i mean to say velocity profile can be of any shape can be of any shape that depends on the math mathematical models so anyway once you are clear with uh, velocity profile then you should know that if velocity profile is known then we can find out displacement thickness momentum thickness energy thickness and there is something called shape fa factor so these things are technical terms so no need to go into technique technical part now see let's understand momentum thickness so to understand momentum thickness you should understand momentum first what is momentum actually see momentum is nothing but a physical property physical quantity whenever any object any object is going in any direction with a particular velocity suppose v velocity then it has capacity to break any glass on the way or if it is very heavy object like missile then it will be having a property to break any thick wall also cemented wall i mean to say whenever something is moving it has property that it can break something so this break whatever seeing here it is happening because of momentum of the object so what is the momentum momentum is nothing but very basic physics momentum is nothing but mass into velocity 
वॉट इज द फिजिकल फेलियर हाउ मच मास इज ट्रेवलिंग विथ हाउ मच वेलॉसिटी सो दिस मच मास इज ट्रेवलिंग विथ दिस मच वेलॉसिटी सो मास इज गोइंग इन दिस डायरेक्शन सो यू मल्टीप्लाई बोथ देन यूल बी गेटिंग मोमेंटम नाउ अंडरस्टैंड वन लॉजिक वाई वी आर डीलिंग विथ मोमेंटम थिकनेस इन लेवन आर फ्लो इन बाउंड्री लेयर थिकनेस बिकॉज इन बाउंड्री लेयर थिकनेस यू हैव थिकनेस बिकॉज ऑफ दैट यू आर गेटिंग डेल्टा एंड बिकॉज यू हैव थिकनेस सो सम मास इज ब्रेकिंग डिस्प्लेस सो वी आर गेटिंग मास इज बींग डिस्प्लेस दैट वी आर कॉलिंग एज बाउंड्री लेयर थिकनेस डिस्प्लेसमेंट थिकनेस फ्रॉम द बाउंड्री लेयर थिकनेस वी आर गेटिंग सॉरी फ्रॉम द बाउंड्री लेयर थिकनेस वी आर गेटिंग डिस्प्लेसमेंट थिकनेस हु इज बींग डिस्प्लेस दिस मास इज बींग डिस्प्लेस राइट एंड नाउ दिस मास इज बींग डिस्प्लेस मीन्स इफ दिस मास वॉज नॉट बींग डिस्प्लेस देन डेफिनेटली दैट मास हैज टू एंटर टू द बाउंड्री लेयर विथ सर्टन वेलॉसिटी इट मीन्स सर्टन मोमेंटम would have entered but because mass got displaced it means if you multiply that particular mass with the missing velocity then it means you have missed some momentum that momentum is not able to enter now because mass is going this side so you will be getting this uh, momentum thickness momentum thickness so momentum thickness is again uh so, sometimes they use theta as a the symbol sometimes they use delta star as the symbol no problem and it is having again its own formula to calculate how much momentum thickness is there and all the answers will come in terms of del like mass uh, display boundary layer thickness is directly del then displacement thickness then momentum thickness will also come your answer in terms of del then we'll jump to the last topic of the boundary layer yes mm hmm डिस्प्लेस हा ओके 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 इमेजिन 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 आई एम ड्रॉइंग बाउंड्री लेयर बट यू इमेजिन देर इज नो बाउंड्री लेयर इफ देर इज नो बाउंड्री लेयर देन फ्लो विल एंटर डायरेक्टली देन दैट फ्लो विल बी हैविंग सर्टन मास एंड सर्टन वेलॉसिटी but now imagine boundary layer is present so then some part of the flow will enter some part of the flow will not enter so the part which is not entering that is being displaced so that's why we saying displacement thickness so displacement thickness is means clear that mass is not entering mass is being displaced now that mass will carry certain velocity right so this mass if you multiply with the velocity then you try to understand physical field if if you multiply that mass with the velocity then it means certain momentum is also missing correct ha the corresponding momentum with this mass very good that is the right word corresponding momentum with this mass is not able to enter now anymore that is also being displaced so momentum thickness that's the momentum thickness is coming into picture so boundary layer thickness del uh, 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 displacement thickness del star then momentum thickness delta double star or theta these two symbols then we go for energy thickness then we have there is something called energy thickness again concept is same come to the basic if there is any mass which is going in this direction then this mass will be having its value m and if this is if this mass is traveling then it will be having velocity v so what kind of energy this mass will having actually this mass will be having basically three types of energy one is kinetic energy one is potential energy one is enthalpy so actually kinetic energy is very easy to explain kinetic energy is nothing but energy because of the motion and who is motion here the velocity part and kinetic energy is having its own formula half mv square i mean when any object is in motion then that object will be having one type of energy that is kinetic energy at the same time if object is in motion or object is in rest does not matter always that object will be having potential energy if i will ask the potential for energy formula then mostly students will say sir mgh actually potential energy 
like here i said kinetic energy is only because of the motion but potential energy is not because of rest actually potential energy in any object is not the opposite of the kinetic energy no no potential energy in any object can be because of its shape can be because of its size can be because of distance between two objects can be because of distance between two molecules potential energy is also known as energy stored in a spring it is also known as energy between two magnets it is also energy between two charges there are so many energies other than kinetic energy that all we call as potential energy and then in same way there is something called enthalpy i am not giving mathematical format of anything in terms of and now understand enthalpy at any given location you can define your volume and you can know your pressure and you can know your internal energy so your enthalpy is nothing but the combination of those energies which is coming because of pressure volume and enthalpy so the entire energy we write as enthalpy so in aerodynamics when we talk about energy thickness energy thickness then similar to mass displacement and momentum displacement you have energy displacement means meaning is surface boundary layer be at go to any any location on the chord line then you will be having displacement thickness so because of this particular thickness some mass we are missing here so that we, we are saying converting into mathematical model and we are saying as displacement thickness this is boundary layer thickness sorry uh, i think i have done mistake this thing is boundary layer thickness and the displacement part is displacement thickness which is in terms of mass and then you have momentum thickness and last one we are dealing with energy thickness okay in energy thickness try to understand if mass is being dis displaced that mass is carrying momentum at the same time mass is carrying energy energy mostly 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 means every time whenever any mass is running in any direction it carries two things with it one is momentum and one is energy there is something called navier stoke equation navier stoke equation was very challenging equation it's been so many years no one could solve navier stoke equation recently i came to know on youtube before 2 3 years someone solved okay so actually these equations are related to momentum energy and lot of assumptions and actually what we are talking about solution it it is given in partial differential forms when you will open any textbook of aerodynamics it is loaded with lot of theory more than that lot of partial differential equation lot of partial differential equation so that's why mostly people they uh, in india they hesitate for the aerodynamics they go for propulsion and structure mostly for their masters okay so i am talking about energy thickness so now concept over uh, now you if you talk about boundary layer then in your boundary layer you have its element to discuss so first thing you have velocity variation and after that we uh, we talk some personal properties of boundary layer in that we found del that is your displacement thickness sorry boundary layer thickness and then we got del star that is your displacement thickness and then you say theta or del double star we got our momentum thickness then you say uh, uh, double del double star or del triple star these things are known as energy thickness okay so uh, there is something else also known as shape factor so uh, like these are the basic properties involved in our boundary layer now we have two types of boundary layer one boundary layer is when flow is laminar in laminar flow also you have boundary layer then on the plate if turbulent flow is passing there also you have uh, boundary layer so in both the boundary layers property variation will not be exactly similar and formulas are also different 
for boundary layer we have different formula for a uh, sorry for laminar boundary layer we have different formula and different approach for turbulent boundary layer different formula different approach and uh, uh, we are not going to deal mathematically so that's why you just know okay we have uh, some, some theory in this turbulent boundary layer actually in turbulent boundary layer your thickness energy yeah 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 hmm right everywhere 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 i mean i mean uh, it is not only at the location where i am drawing it is everywhere suppose this is the location so here also you have phenomena 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 you have phenomena everywhere and this phenomena is not happening in the flow it is happening on the skin of the body yeah it is happening on the skin of the body and pr some properties are changing actually see uh, in boundary layer right now i am teaching you velocity profile then you have thermal profile that is a temperature profile also so uh, you just check with your syllabus uh, in next class and you check whether temperature profile you have to study or not mostly we don't have to study temperature profile if we have to study then i will teach you for sure uh, velocity profile Ha uh, till velocity profile everyone used to study but but i think because you have to do uh, with the basic uh, air dynamics so probably you don't have to touch the thermal uh, profile okay yeah 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 ha huh. okay then mostly uh, because actually uh, pro problem is trouble is in your syllabus they have written only uh, boundary layer so in boundary layer how many things i have to go through like uh, this topic this topic this topic the where i have to stop so uh, if you will guide me then i will stop like okay only this much we have to yeah ha ha i think i don't have topics like uh, you you have not shared the topic right you have only shared the main index so if you share the topic then uh, in in advance itself i can uh, go through the topics like what are the topics we don't have to study okay so actually uh, yeah that will be comfortable for me then i will maintain my pace like uh, uh, how much deep i have to go how much uh, i have to leave in that way i will teach yeah yeah otherwise uh, because yeah 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 okay okay so now see uh, main thing is i was being confused if you have velocity profile then you there is something called uh, temperature profile also so uh, you will make sure it is there or not and in boundary layer on average everyone should know only these three things three things are like you will be having boundary layer boundary layer is having its type laminar boundary layer and turbulent boundary layer one thing is this now next thing you should know there is velocity variation inside the boundary layer in that you should know on the surface velocity is zero and on the boundary layer your velocity is maximum and it is 0.99 times of the free stream velocity and you should know the third last point there is something called displacement thickness uh, momentum thickness and energy thickness that's all if anyone is comfortable with these three then we say okay you have the basic idea of aerodynamics right okay now other than uh, other than this uh, you have some technical problems so those technical problems we are not going to discuss right okay now uh, when we have Uh, flow situations like in, in flow we have incompressible flow also and compressible flow also so again in this also we get uh, our uh, uh, boundary layer and in this also we get our boundary layer then again uh, if i'll tell further then it will be mathematical approach ha huh. and uh, whenever we have uh, flow happening over air foil over flat plate in the pipe then for everything uh we discuss with different approaches like for example if you have flow happening over the flat plate then this kind of flow we analyze by using blasius solution b l a s i u s blasius solution but if you talk about our simple flow over the air foil then we have some parameters only those parameters we have to mug up their direct values so anyway i mean to say that everything is technical after that so okay that's all for today and uh, we can have uh, class uh, uh, whenever you say next time okay thank you